overflows choiceless awareness. What is choiceless awareness? When awareness dawns and begins to flower, you have no control over it but to remain aware every moment, through every action, through every gesture. This is known as choiceless awareness. It is like this, someone who has developed the habit of lying, we use the word compulsive liar. He is not even aware that he is lying. Lying has become the very way of his life and he does not remain aware of it. It becomes part of his blood and everything that he does. Same way, when awareness grows, blossoms, it becomes choiceless. You cannot do anything without awareness. Even if you are raising your hand, there is awareness. You are aware that hand is being risen. Not that I am raising the hand. Hand is being risen. And in that state, bliss and compassion are the flowers of choiceless awareness. Bliss and compassion are the flowers of choiceless awareness. Bliss you share, you feel compassion for everyone around you flows naturally and spontaneously through your every action, through your every gesture in life. It has nothing to do Choiceless awareness has nothing to do with positive thinking. The technique of positive thinking, as we pay too much attention to it, is not a technique that can transform you. But we are told by the psychologists that posit let there be positive thinking. It cannot transform you. What it does, it simply represses the negative aspect of your conscious mind. You are suppressing the negative aspect of your conscious mind and projecting the positive aspect of your conscious mind. It is a math method of choice. It cannot help awareness to grow, to blossom, and in fact, it is against awareness. Awareness is always choiceless. I am absolutely against positive thinking. You will be surprised that if you do not choose and you have choiceless awareness, your life will start expressing something which is beyond both positive and negative. Both beyond the positive and negative. Instead, it is higher than both. So this is the nature of choiceless awareness. It has nothing to do with positive thinking or ever think or the negative thinking. Positive thinking and negative thinking are two aspects, two sides of the same coin that we call thinking. And awareness is beyond thinking. It is beyond the duality of positive and negative thinking. So you are not going to be a loser in any way. So if your focus is on awareness, you will transcend both positive and negative. You can use the two, like the two feet. For walking, you need two feet. Walking cannot happen with one feet. Once you, this is, this walking, the act of walking, 
you can say is transcendence beyond the movement of the left foot and the right foot. Neither the left foot movement is enough nor the right foot movement is enough. If you have to do the work, you need to use and times both hands. When you are greeting someone and you fold your hands, palms, it is both hands, the left and right. So are you leftist or rightist? No, you are beyond the both. When left and right are in harmony with one another, they create a balance. You are like a tightrope walker and you are leaning to the left, to the right to remain in the balance. That is choiceless awareness. When you greet this, the left and the right hand are palms are joined together. So what is this? This is beyond the left and the right hand. Beyond the, the left and the right aspects of the mind. Left hand represents the right side of the mind. The right hand represents the left side of the mind. Either we are left oriented or right oriented. Left is logic, right is the, the spirituality, love and those kind of aspects. So choiceless awareness is neither positive nor negative, neither the leftist nor rightist. It is beyond both and beyond both is it is going to be existential. You are not going to be a loser in any way. It is existential. If you want to attain to total freedom, then do not choose. That is where the teaching of the choiceless awareness comes in. Choiceless awareness means I am not teaching you to choose. This is the reason why the great masters, instead just to be aware, insisted just to be aware, but not to choose. Aware that things are happening through you. Remember the moment you choose, you have lost your total freedom and you are left with only one part. But if you remain choiceless, your freedom remains total. So there is only one thing which is totally free. And that state when you are totally free is choiceless awareness. Everything else is limited and finite. Only choiceless awareness gives you total freedom. Never choose. If you choose, you will be in quagmire. Therefore, do not choose. Then the question comes in, how not to choose? Do you choose in the movement, the left foot or the right foot? Yes, in the discipline, when you are doing the march past, we move the foot, left foot first. Left foot represent the right side of the brain. You are not using the logical side of the brain, instead the loving side of the brain. So then it you can start up with any side. You do not choose that I will only take the right foot movement. If you continue to do the right foot movement, you can at the most hop but you cannot walk. A choiceless awareness is the goal and the very way of life and living. Just remain aloof and do not choose. Aloof means you are not involved in it. So people say that is a, you ask him anything he says this and he says that. You cannot get any conclusive answer from him. Conclusive answer for you means 
if you do this or that someone has asked me something i said what to do be choiceless he said how can i be choiceless just keep your eyes closed and meditate and at that moment whatsoever comes out the left foot or the right foot that is where you have to start the moment you choose you have fallen into the trap of the world the outer dimension not or into the dimension of the mind whatever you choose you will repent because the other will continue to haunt you i wish i had not taken this decision every time this kind of a indecisiveness comes to you when you choose one and when you allow the things to happen then there is no doubt of any kind in your mind and if one needs absolute freedom freedom from bondage freedom from everything then choiceless awareness is the only way you meditate close your eyes or you can say you are introspecting the pros and cons of the two sides which is the logical way and then whichever side weighs heavier you choose that awareness means you come with inner light you move fully alert each step is taken in awareness and whether it is walking whether it is coming whether it is sitting everything is done in full awareness a simple example is before sitting a dog smells and then when he finds the place is suitable to him he sits dog sits on the positive energy and contrary to this cat sits on where there is a negative energy if somebody is sick the person keeping the cat in her lap the negative energy the sickness is absorbed and slowly and slowly if you are conscious then it can reduce so awareness means you come with your inner light you move fully alert each step is taken in awareness the walking the coming the sitting or doing anything everything is done in full awareness so you become the epitome of awareness if you are aware you speak with awareness but the awareness comes from the innerness or being it flows from the inner being towards the others awareness is an essential inner quality of consciousness it has nothing to do with closed or open eyes awareness has its own light and vision therefore walk with awareness eat with awareness breathe with awareness then awareness will become your very breath and the life force in you and that will guide you every moment enough for now